What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, just wanted to share a um, recent story that, that I had um, for probably the last three weeks or so. Um, every once in a while, the uh, trim down on the motor would go out. And um, then it would end up coming back. And uh, probably about a week ago, um, got it out of the water and couldn't get it to trim back down. And it took probably, it seemed like it was getting more and more time that I'd have to wait for it to come back. And then yesterday I went out on the water and um, it would not trim down at all. So I've got to trim down whenever I want to get on plane and uh, and it was, the motor was up too high. So it every time, whenever I tried to take off, it was porpoising real bad and uh and there was no way to trim down to be to stop that so um so i ended up having to go five miles an hour just trolling all the way back to the launch so i get back to the launch and there's a guy um there that pulls in and i told him that i was having trouble with my motor because it was you know basically way up and i was thinking about how i was going to get home without with it um without the transom saver on so anyway uh he said i know what your problem is um you know i told him that it it would um it would uh trim up but it would not trim down so he he uh he said that take a look i'll show you um even though he was about to get on the water this guy you know really nice guy took took the time out to um to show me what it was so he said it was the uh, solenoids, and so, um, and he took a look at it, and he said, okay, yep, this is it right here. So, it's these two little boxes. There's two boxes there, and um, I've already pulled the bad one, and I'm going to show you guys um, how easy it is to replace this. If I had um, gone to put it in the shop, it probably would have charged me a couple hundred bucks just to do this. So... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead. This is it right here. This is for my Johnson uh, 120. This is a, um, a 96 model. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in and show you um, how, to, how easy it is. So you're just going to make sure everything, all these prongs go the right way and plug it in. And then after that, just put it in its little place there's the old one there's the new one and um, go ahead and make sure it's working okay there's trim down and there's trim up yep so now it's fixed and um, if you ever have that problem just uh, make sure you check those first it might be something as simple as that talk to you later guys